right, so this time we're looking at simplifying expressions involving division. So we've already looked at um, simplifying using like terms, which is adding and subtracting, and we've also looked at multiplication as well. So what we need to look at now is um, division. So you might see something like this, 16f over 4. Now a reminder that when we see a fraction, a fraction means division, because you can see that the division sign actually looks like a fraction. So what we need to do first is we need to find the biggest number that goes into 4 and 16. Now this is called the highest common factor. So it's the largest factor or the largest number that goes into both of them. So I know that 4 is the biggest number that goes into 4 and it also goes into 16. So the highest common factor is 4. So what we need to do is we need to then cancel out. So 4 goes into 4 one time. 4 goes into 16 four times. Now we only have an F on the top. There's no cancelling that we can do with the pro numerals for this one. You'll see an example later where we can do that. So this would become 4F over 1. And as you know, anything over 1 is just itself. So the final answer would be 4F. For this example, we need to think of a, the biggest number that can go into 7 and 21. So that is the highest common factor. Well, the biggest number that I know that goes into 7 is 7, and that also goes into 21. So our highest common factor is 7. So 7 goes into 7 one time. 7 goes into 21 three times. So then our fraction would become 3x over 1. And same as before, anything over 1 is just itself. So our final answer would be 3x. All right, so for this one again, we need to find the biggest number that goes into 24 and 36. So 24 is the biggest number that goes into 24, but that doesn't go into 36. So I'm going to look at the next biggest number that goes into 24. The next biggest number that goes into 24 is 12, and that also goes into 36. So the highest common factor will be 12. 12 goes into 24 two times. 12 goes into 36 three times. Now what you'll notice with this one is there's actually a pro numeral on the top and the bottom. So there's a Z on the top and the bottom. Now if there's the same thing on the top and the bottom you can actually cancel them out. So one Z on the top and one Z on the bottom you can cancel those out. So what we're actually left with is two over three. So we're ending up with two thirds because we cancelled we simplified our numbers and then we cancelled out our pro numerals. Right, so for this last one, we still do the same thing. We still need to find our highest common factor. So the largest number that goes into 10 and 35. Well, the biggest number that goes into 10 is 10, but that doesn't go into 35. So I look at the next biggest number that goes into 10, which is 5. And that also goes into 35. So our highest common factor is 5. 5 goes into 10 two times. 5 goes into 35 seven times. Now we need to look at our letters. So we've got an M on the top and an M on the bottom, so I can cross them out. I've got an X on the top and an X on the bottom, so I can cross them out. I've got a Y on the top, but there's no Y on the bottom, so I can't cancel that out. So what I'm left with is 2Y over 7, and I can't simplify that anymore. So that is how you simplify expressions involving division.